Ready? One, two, three, smile. She would always like, uh, when she would kiss us, instead of kiss us, she would sniff. She'd sniff. <laughs> She'd that sniff. Was, that was funny. <laughs> the funniest thing. It's like, she, she, she'd go in to kiss you. You think she's going to kiss you, and she's like. <laughs> does she like go up to your cheek, or does she like go up to your head? It like anywhere. Like forehead yeah. for me, though. That was like. Is she, you know what she said? <laughs> it was, it was funny. She liked uh, making bangos. Oh, yeah. uh, but it, it is it's it's a it's a fish it's dish. A yeah, like Absolutely. it's it's but it stinks. Like and I just remember like when I was like pregnant, her making it and I used to get so pissed off. Oh, I used to slam the door like, why are you making this? It stinks. Uh that is so bad. That was delicious. So I used to party. I used to definitely party and I would come home really late. And man, it would it would be like me and my friends and we'd come in and we're quiet, you know, we'll turn off the alarm and we're like, all right, everybody go to the kitchen, grab food real quickly, let's run upstairs. And we'd do that and then you just hear, Err. and then Lola, you home now, Heather? You home now? And I'm like, I'm like, yes, I'm home now. Like, I'm here. But man, she, I don't think she would sleep until I was home or she, like every time, it never failed. I remember I was like six or seven and I was trying to teach her English. So like I would grab my toys to try to like teach her the words that went with it. So I had a C-3PO toy. I was like, this is a robot. I don't know when she would ever need to use that in her daily life, but I mean, I was seven. That's, I thought it would have been helpful, you know? Just imagine her trying to say C-3PO. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember when Grandma or when Lola had a boyfriend? I was just about, <laughs> girl, I was just the about to man. say that. It was the guy from SeaWorld, right? I don't remember. It was. I, remember. I thought he was retired Navy or something. But I think they worked at SeaWorld together. I don't. Like, I don't remember. Year. Yeah, I don't remember. But I, I just remember, remember that. That was crazy. She was like, <laughs> like, like get it, get it, girl. <laughs> she was. I, no, that's not my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just like, okay, all right. I have like a portrait of her. Her, she's like holding me when I was a baby. It's on my bedroom wall. She definitely was, you know, a presence. I think, I think I miss just her being there the most, you know. Because even though she didn't understand what you're talking about, she just listened and she just yeah. was like, you know, I could literally, I remember one time I was talking to her about my heartbreak and she just, okay, okay. Probably has no idea like what I'm talking about. And she just, you know, it's comforting just because it's like yeah. Lola's home, you know? And when we went to the Philippines, it was kind of like, it was almost like she knew we were coming. So she was just kind of holding on. You know what I'm saying? Because she passed the day after yeah. we got there, like six o'clock in the morning, the day after we got there. We got to see her. We spent the whole day with her. And I just remember like we were, you know, we we're there as a family singing. I mean, it was it was hard seeing her like that. She didn't even talk. You know, she wasn't she wasn't breathing on her own. But I think, you know, I think she waited until we got there. You know what I'm saying? So that was, I think, one of my fondest memories, just just because like we grew up with Lola, you know. I didn't, 
I had other grandparents, but I grew up with Lola. You know, we, we found out she had cancer when, he, when I was like five months pregnant. And I just want to pray, like, please, Lord, just let her be my baby, just let her be my baby. And she got a good few years of Eli's death. Yes. You know, he may not remember a lot, but I'm blessed that her presence was there. At the very least, like, my last memory of her is at least, like, when she was moderately healthy. Yeah. Like before she went back to the full band. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, the only thing I hold on to. But then there's also... I was like, I didn't get to see her before she left. And now, like, I mean, she didn't get to go to my high school graduation, my two college graduations. Yeah. She's not going to be at my wedding. Yeah, that's, and that's yeah, that the hurts. tough. That yeah. Really yeah, she she was... her life there. yeah, it was definitely hard cleaning out her room. I don't know how my mom did yeah, it. Yeah, I... Because they were close. I, I was crying while I'm cleaning it, while I'm putting it away in. It's just hard. I close to that family, like... I think, like, I think in the back of my mind still, like, she's in the Philippines vacationing. You know, because she loved, man, she loved her. She loved her family. She loved it back home. I think there's overall that, you know, she got to spend those last couple of months. And that really, I think, that really fulfilled her life, you know? Yeah. She was so happy just to be around her other, you know, her kids and her grandkids and, you know, her, her yeah. siblings. I think, I think that's what made me realize, like, she was tired. She was ready. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, you know, cancer sucks. And it's one of those things that <clears throat> you can't control. But I think that, you know, she lived, she lived her life. And I, I feel like the last couple months that she had they were amazing yeah you know spending time with us and then spending getting to go home and spend that time with her family yeah exactly. you know i think that was probably the highlight she was happy you could tell she was you know she was happy like you know yeah like she fulfilled that like she got to yeah see like she got before. to spend her last like yeah. you know her last hurrah last with the people that months. that meant you know so much to her and I'm not saying that we didn't mean much to her, but she, we had our time in America. You yeah. know, we we had our time with her, and that her going to go home with her her grandkids and her her other children. You know, and I think too, it, it made us really like understand that we need to go home more often. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need to go home more often. Yeah. If I could say like one last thing to her, like we're okay. You know, we're okay. If I could say one last thing to Lola. It wouldn't even be a word. I just wanted to kiss her one last time. I know. Before I got to say goodbye. Yeah. I think that's that's tough. Yeah, that's... I think we just, you know... I think we... I think we just... We're happy she's not, like, hurting. And, like, she's not in pain and going through that. But, you know, I think we miss her. You know? It's, it's selfish of us to say, but, you know... It was just, you know, one day. One day would be nice with her. Just gotta let her know what I've been doing. Oh, shockets. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lola. Happy birthday to you. Ready? One, two, three.